Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm TJ. Today we're going to be doing a simple setup. I promise it is simple with our Radio Master TX16S with OpenTX on a Spectrum AR620 and a simple four channel airplane. A lot of people hear OpenTX, Radio Master, and they get nervous. Bear with me through this video. I promise by the end of it, you're going to breathe easier when you do your actual setup yourself. Before we get started, huge shout out to JLC PCB. We're going to talk more about them later. However, if you're watching this and you want to see more of my face, Big thank you to Buddy RC and Ohio Model Products, which is technically my day job for allowing me the time and opportunity to come out and do stuff with flight tests and be able to do video and content like this for you guys. So if you follow along with this video, the whole idea is start to finish how to set up a, well, four channel airplane, set up dual rates and expos on a switch for that, as well as a throttle cut because, you know, safety does matter. So let's get started. All right, so our first step is, well, we gotta put the receiver in the airplane. So we have this nice little airplane that Josh has mocked up for us. And then with this, the, the idea is channel mapping, right? So A-E-T-R, aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder, and then we have two servos for our aileron. So it's gonna be channel one and channel five. And we're just gonna get started and slap all this together real quick. So now that all of that is actually plugged in, Let's stick it down there for now. Now we're gonna go into our transmitter and in our transmitter, it's already turned on. So in order to get into the model select, we hold down on our scroll wheel over here on the right, you click model select. And when I say click, it's just simply pressing the scroll wheel. And then we have all of our models from previous setups here. So if we hold our scroll wheel down again, it's gonna pop up to create model. So just simply create model. And this is gonna take us into kind of the setup wizard. So using this, we're gonna tell it what all of our channels are. So we have an airplane. So we're gonna skip over to airplane just by using the scroll wheel, click it down. Next thing is, does it have a motor? Yes, it does. What channel is it on? Channel three. So that is, we did this correctly at the beginning. So remember aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder. Throttle was on channel three. So on our switches over here, we have return, page right, page left, telemetry button on the bottom. So we'll page to the right. Number of ailerons on your model, we actually have two. So channel one and channel five. It's already set up correctly. So now again, just page to the right. Does it have flaps? This one doesn't. We'll actually have a setup video for that in the future. So we'll page to the right. Pick the tail configuration of your model again. When we plugged into the receiver, we already did this. Elevator is channel two, rudder is channel four. Page to the right. Now it says just verify everything's correct. No, I need to change something. Well, we don't, we know it's good. So click down our scroll wheel, scroll to the right. Yes, all is well, create the plane. Click it down, model successfully created. So that's where we press our return to exit. Now our new model is model 22 here. It's already selected. So if we return back out, You'll see here on our screen, it says model 22. So we can actually change that. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change our model name. I'm gonna show you how to change this picture right here as well. So if we hold down model, it's gonna bring us into this setup. The first one we see is model name. If you click your scroll wheel, your M will highlight. So we're just gonna scroll over, select F. For our second letter, we'll change it to a T. So if we scroll over to T, to get uppercase, it's simply just hold, holding down on the scroll wheel. So hold it down, capitalizes it to T, skips over to D. We're gonna change this to a space. And then we're just gonna say, we're gonna call this, I don't know. If we mess up like that, you can actually hit return. It's gonna highlight it all. Click it down to skip back through. It's gonna call it FT test, because it's the test plane. So FT test, return to back out model image we come down here you can actually select that these are a bunch of kind of things that are included on the transmitter there are ways to come in and add your own again future video content right so let's just pick something i don't know let's say we got p51 sounds good so p51 and then the next thing i want to do is we're actually going to just go ahead and bind the airplane while we're here so while you're at the model name, if you scroll backwards, it's actually gonna to go to the bottom of the menu, or you can scroll all the way down, whatever is best for you. But we're looking for internal RF and mode. So in the Radio Master TX16S, it has a four in one chip inside of it. You can select a ton of different protocols. For this one, it is a DSM protocol. So we're doing internal, external, just references the module here on the back. We don't have to worry about that. We're not doing it today. So mode, 
click it. You move it to the right one, it's gonna pop up multi. So that's for your multi-module on the inside. Click to deselect, scroll over. So this is our protocol. So if you click and it flashes, you can scroll through all of these crazy amounts of protocols. Again, we have DSM, so scroll over to find DSM. The 222 milliseconds, you just click down on it. And then if we scroll down, you can highlight the bind. And what we're gonna do is once we get this into bind mode, so we'll plug our battery in, get this into bind mode, we'll hit enter on that, and it's actually gonna bind it up. So let's grab a battery. All right, so for the AR620 receiver, it has a bind button here on the top. So we're just gonna plug in the battery while holding the bind button down. Goes into bind mode. And then on our transmitter, we have the bind button highlighted already. We'll just click down on it. Takes just a minute, actually just a second. It's pretty quick, it's already down. So now this is where it's a little different. So if we move our aileron, you notice we only have one aileron move. There's a reason for that. If we actually scroll down here to disable channel map, if we click this, it's actually gonna fix that. So you click disable channel map, loud it resets now both of our ailerons are actually moving however you notice they're not moving correctly so the next thing we're going to do is actually fix that issue before we do anything else so now if you hit your page over button we're going to page over until we find mixes this is the only time we're going to do anything in the mixes channel we're going to scroll down highlight the negative 100 hold down on our scroll wheel click edit come down to negative 100, and we're actually just gonna scroll over and change this to positive 100. So highlight it, click it, scroll, change this to 100%, click it, we can return back out. And now if we do our aileron, it's moving correctly, don't have to reverse anything, that's beautiful. Check our other flight services. So ailerons are good, elevator, elevator's perfect, Rudder, rudder's backwards. So how do we fix that? So back on our transmitter, if we hit page, we're looking for this menu right here. It says outputs. And if you're not sure what channel it is, I mean, we know it's channel four, right? Cause we put it in ourselves. If you move that stick, you see the little arrow right there, how that arrow moves, that's the channel. So we'll scroll down to channel four, click it one time, it highlights. And if you just scroll over to this arrow here, if you click down one time, now, simple, it's reversed, that's done. So, perfect, that's cool. Next thing I wanna do, you notice how our motor keeps spinning every time I barely lift this throttle? I don't want that to spin while we're setting anything up. So I wanna put a throttle cut. So if we actually push the page button over to special functions, this is where we're gonna put a throttle cut. I like to do it on our SF switch up here. It's just a two position switch. If it's pulled towards me, I want the airplane to be activated. If it's pushed away, I want the motor to be disabled. And that's just purely personal preference. You set it up however you want. So special functions, SF1, click down on it. It highlights over here. Click down, it starts flashing. Flip the switch that you want to select. So SF pushed away, I want it to be throttle cut. I don't want the motor to spin. So that's flashing, push down again. We're gonna override, so leave that alone. So override channel three, and we want that to be negative 100. So to click the zero, scroll all the way to the left, negative 100, and then this little checkbox over here on the edge, that needs to be checked. So now, you notice no throttle, and that's when the switch is pushed away. We'll bring it up a little bit, pull the switch towards us. Motor spins, now we have an active throttle cut. We're gonna take it one step further and put a sound with that switch too. So hit return, go down to SF2, click it. Same thing, click this. So I pulled the switch towards me, you see it's SF down. Push it away again, now we're SF up. Click it, scroll over. We're gonna change override. Just scroll that over until we find play track. So push the button again, scroll over. This is where you're actually gonna tell it what you want it to say. These are a bunch of different sounds that are included on the transmitter. We want it to say engine off. Push that down, and then this one X just means it's gonna say it one time. 
whenever we hit the switch and that's all. So you can return out of that. Just test it real quick, pull it towards us, nothing happens. Throttle does work, push it away, tells us our engine is off. So throttle cut, done. Next thing we're gonna do is actually dual rates and expos. So our page, we're gonna page back. All this is gonna be done on our input screen. So go down to aileron. Actually don't go down, it was already selected, right? So we need three different sets. I know Josh specifically, he does 100%, 30% expo, 70%, 30% expo, and then 65 and 40. So we're gonna set up three different modes and it's all gonna be on one switch. And we're gonna set that all up on our SC switch. So up is high rates, mid is middle, you know, mid rates, and then down is low rates. So this one is a few step process. With OpenTX, there's a million different ways you can do this. You can hook this up to your computer, do it all through the OpenTX companion, send it to your transmitter. You can do it through logical functions, things like that. I prefer ways that are simple for me and they work. That's exactly what we're doing. So inputs tab, aileron, we're gonna set this one up first. If you hold down, we go into edit. So like we said, our high rate is 100% weight. Expo is 30%. So come down here, change this to 30%. You notice our curve is moving. Now we need to set this on that switch. So come down to switch. We're gonna select it while it's flashing, simply pick the switch you want. So if we want on SD, pick SD, whichever one. So we're gonna do SC, we're gonna switch this all the way up. And you notice how it says SC up, perfect. Hit return, hit return again, and return a third time. Now we can see here at the top, it's 100%, Expo is 30%, when SC is up. If I move this off of SC, or SC up, you notice how it deselects. So now, we actually don't have aileron movement because it's not on anything. If we go back up to SC, ailerons move again. So we need to put two more times for this. So hold down on the 100%, insert after. And then say we're gonna come down to weight, changes to 70, expo 30, switch. Now this is our mid rate, so we're gonna take our SC, move it down one notch, SC minus, SC minus is just middle selection on the switch. Select down, we're gonna return, return again. Now one more time, so hold down, insert after. 65 on our weight, Expo 40, and then switch, SC, down. So now we'll reverse all the way back out. Now you can see here we have 65% weight, 40% Expo, SC down, 70% 30, SC mid, 100% 30, SC up. And as we switch this, we can see the different ones highlight. So our aileron's done. We need to do this, what, technically six more times. Three for elevator, three for rudder. So now you can see we have 65, 75, and 100. All three of these are actually adjusting as we switch. All right, so we have door rates expo set up. We have a throttle cut set up. We talked about how to reverse a channel. Next thing I wanna do is on our main screen. So as we reverse out, you can see it shows FT test, which is our model name. It shows the picture that we chose when we did the setup. One other thing I wanna show is the fact that this telemetry button here at the bottom, if you hold this down, brings you into your main view. It has a layout, you can click it, you can scroll through, you know, two different screens, four, three, or one. We're gonna pick the two screen setup. So we click it, you hit return, you come down to setup widgets, you click it one time, and then you can actually pick left or right side. So we're gonna say the right side, you come in here, you can again, put your model picture and name up. There's a ton of different stuff you can put on this screen. So we're gonna leave this here and then we're gonna select on the left side and we're gonna scroll over and I actually like having my channel map here. So we can select that and then you can come down to fill background and then you can select your background color. So it's literally just changing these numbers, the little color box changes, depending on whatever you want. We're just gonna randomly pick one. Sure, a lime green sounds good, right? So back, back out. But this is allowing us to visually represent what the channels are doing instead of just having to look. So if you look, channel three isn't moving. Why is channel three not moving? That's throttle cut. So we pull our throttle. 
Legacy Channel 3 moves. You have your aileron, channel one and channel five. Why is that? Well, you got aileron in channel one and channel five. Same thing for elevator, rudder. But the cool thing is, is let's hold a rudder all the way to the right. You can see 100%. As we pull our door and expos, now it's at 70. Now it's at 65. So this is a very simple way to verify 100% that our dual rates and expos are actually working. So having that on my screen is always a good thing for me. So one thing about OpenTX is it can be intimidating, but the, th the key to remember is it is as complex or as simple as you wanna make it. All right, I'm gonna hog the moment here. TJ, yeah. this is awesome. Right. Very cool. So TJ's gonna be working with us here. He's gonna be taking you through the Radio Master uh, protocols, the mm -hmm. functionality, things like that. So thank you for doing that. Yeah, there's a lot to it. A lot to it, but also it's, it just seems yep. like it's pretty well thought out and pretty versatile. Um, also a huge thanks to our tech channel partner, JLC PCB, for making content like this possible. If you guys have a PCB board design that you wanna see made reality, check out JLC PCB, and also check out our tutorials where we're showing you how step-by-step -step how to make your own PCB board from design to completion. All right, I gotta get out of here. Thanks, Josh. So leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you wanna see. I know what I wanna show you. And subscribe if you're not, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.